Hello everyone, this is Katoshi back for another unboxing video and this time it's for the PXN X9 which is a 5 stick by I guess a Chinese company I think it's a Chinese company so just from the looks of it this 5 stick really resembles the Mad Cat's um, T2 I think the one they released when um, Street Fighter 5 came out I don't know if you guys remember that I mean, pretty sure you can go it and I guess just like put a, put two and two together. So, um, as always, to save some time, I didn't bring a knife, and I just pre-cut it. Oh, where is it? Ah, there we go. Right here. I should probably should turn that around. Okay, so yeah, so this. Let me put my camera down so I can pull it up. So, from the manners and all, I think it is a Chinese company. I thought it was Japanese because of the contact, but anyway. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is all in Chinese. Damn. Yep, Chinese. Oh. Oh, this is in English. Okay, cool. And this is in Chinese. Oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks to you. Alright. Oh, so, oh, it's kind of heavy. I'm kind of already, um, could tell, obviously, from the box. When I'm scared in the box, but wow. Yeah. It feels so, yeah, as, as heavy, I know, it's a little bit lighter than the, um, I actually never had a, a Mad Cat T2. So I don't know if it's the same, um, weight. But yeah, kind of feels as heavy as, uh, Actually, maybe a little bit lighter than the Race Pantera. So, let me see if I can, like. Oh, there we go. Actually, it's better if I put the camera down. So, this is how the state looks like. Yeah, I think it definitely resembles the, the Mad Cat's uh, T2. This is from the back. You know, this, this is how you open it. Pressing this button. This one right here. There we go. So this is like, you know, the, the buns, the joystick, I guess where you like easily modify, you can easily modify it. This is the, the connector, I guess. That's, so it uses, I guess, USB-C to uh, in, I think, yeah, here and then uh, regular USB for the for the input, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, I think I got that right. And I'll check it out later. So two extra buns right here. And, oh, it's a screwdriver, okay. And put this back. Actually, let me check it out. I'll be, so I'm near anyway. I'm near anyway. So always. So yeah, the USB C goes over here. Okay, makes sense. And this is, I guess, where you put like a strap. Cool. 
so you can carry it. Cool, cool. And obviously, hump bun, stop bun on the side, because you know, tournaments and stuff. Okay, that's awesome. So, I'm definitely going to be testing this baby out. As the box stated, it works on PS3, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox, I think, Series X, Android, and Switch. I don't have an Xbox, um, X, I mean, Xbox One X anymore. I don't have an Xbox at all. So, I'm just going to be testing it on my, PS, uh, I guess, my PS5, playing PS4 games, probably PS3 games, and definitely Switch games, and maybe Android games, but I don't know how... It, yeah, I think I have ways to connect it, but yeah. So yeah, that's gonna come right now. So the first game I'm gonna be playing is Streets of Rage 4. Because, I mean, it's a beat em up arcade. It's an arcade game, basically, right? A beat em up arcade game. So, yeah, I mean, I feel like it makes sense to use an arcade stick to play an arcade game, right? So. Let's just do story mode. So far, I mean, again, because this is based on the Mad Cat's um, T2. It's basically going to be the same as that, right? Like, it has the same, like, Sangwa buttons. The Sangwa, um, like, joystick, you know, the bolt up and everything. So it's going to feel the same. But, um... But, yeah, it's... Oh, let me skip that soon. Let's see how it actually fares though. But if you previously, I mean, if you use Sangwa before, then like it's gonna like obviously Sangwa buttons are gonna feel the same no matter the stick, right? So. Nose. Yeah, so, yeah, I know. Yeah, so it feels really good. Sorry, I was focused on the game, but, yeah. Nothing too, um... Out of the ordinary. Again, the Sango button, so... Sango, and a Sango joystick, and a Sango bolt up, right? So, I think it's a Sango button. Actually, I'm not entirely sure if it's a Sango bolt up, but... It's nice, it feels nice. And the joystick, yeah, it feels the, you know, the lever and everything. It feels nice too, so. Definitely, I feel comfortable playing th this type of game on, on your case stick, on this arcade stick. There we go.
Okay. So yeah, and my camera turned off, but yes, it plays really well. So I'm gonna move on to the next game. Actually, yeah, no, I, the camera recording the fight stick, yeah. So, so the second game I'm gonna play is obviously a fighting game because this is the most for fighting games. So I'm gonna be playing them, hiding them, fighting birds. Uh, there's a local, okay, no, this is a medium, alright. I'm particularly a fan of this character. I haven't played in a long, long time, but I think I mostly like this character just because of the color palette, which uh, they had the. Here we go, Spyro, right? So. I'm probably gonna do like one or two matches. Alright, so jump, jump. Yes, sir. All right, so that's You're not a warrior, yet you have much to learn. Yeah, I think I'm I'm only doing one match. That's I'll, I'll, I'll see. But yeah, so again, it feels good. I have no difficulties. I mean, I guess. Okay, so. Yeah, it feels like smooth, I think. Yeah, it definitely feels smooth. Like doing quarter second forward. That's it, yeah. Ah, oh, the llama. Paprika. All right, so. Alright, yep. 
There's enough again, so... Uh, actually, let me turn around back again. Yeah, it turns off every 4 or 5 minutes because um, it's not connected. And because there's no activity, I'm technically not recording from the camera. I'm just using it like, recording from my computer, then it detects no activity though, so... Which I'll probably arrange for my, um, for my following video though, so... But either way, that's, yeah, I'm gonna stop it here for this game. And I'm gonna move on to the next game. So the last game I'm gonna try is Metal Slug. There's a single player, normal. Uh, let me use Leona because I like Kino Fighters. Actually, I don't use her in Kino Fighters, but I like her. But I like her character regardless. So yep. Consider I used to play. I mean, not all the. Time. I remember playing this when I was younger in the arcade, so it kind of. Um, I mean, it's not the first time you playing this with an arcade stick, right? But every time I play it with an arcade stick, it's it brings me back. Even though obviously the feel is different, right? Because I think um, back then they used some um, different like arcade parts, right? I think it's a Mitsu, maybe I don't know, but yeah. Oh wow. There we go, rocket launcher. Yes sir! Oh. Oh, that was a fail. Shit. Oh, okay. Oh, that was it. Ah. Uh. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're gonna stop it here. So, yeah, I'm gonna show you the inside. So maybe probably before that, um, on the Switch or on the PS4. One of my favorite things with the controller though is that it works on on Android devices, Switch, PlayStation 4, and technically PlayStation 5 but only PlayStation 4 games and Switch and, and Xbox and I think it should work on both Xbox, the Series X and the One, like Xbox One, S, uh, One X, 
uh, Series S and Series X. But don't quote me on the serious part, because, I mean, Amazon says so, and the box only says X of one, but I think on the X, all controls are, all controls are universal, so it should work on all, all four, f five of them. Yeah, five, yeah, five of them, yeah. Regular X of one, the S, the X, and then Series S and Series X. So, for the Switch, obviously you can connect to the dock, but you can also play on dock if you get like, um, I forgot, um, you get this, um, Port thing? Ah, I forgot. I forgot the name. Um, OT. Okay, on the go. Yeah, OTG. Yeah, if you get this OTG for the Switch, you connect it. Um, actually, you can. Oh, that's what it's not working. Mm. Oh, wow, it's not working. Oh, let me see. Oh, see, when I turn off the switch, the lights turn off. Let me see, let me turn them. There we go. I got it. Okay, so I, I just need to turn off the switch first. Okay, perfect. See? Okay. Yeah, hold on, so you can see. So it works perfectly on the switch without any adapters. Uh, technically, it's not an adapter, right? Like, for example, like other controller, you would need this kind of thing. But this is the main flash um, S. I think I forgot the name of it, but you don't need any kind of adapter for this. You just, you only need like on the uh, an OTG, or if you play in dock, obviously you can only connect. Uh, you could just co connect it to the dock. So yeah. That's awesome. It's pretty awesome. So overall, I think this is an awesome controller. Not only because it's multi-purpose. Um, I didn't. I didn't really want to show on PS. I mean, I don't have an Xbox, and I didn't want to make it too long by doing like a demo for every console. But I really like this controller. My only gripe is that um. Even though, hold on, let me open it. It's so easy to change the buttons. As you can see, technically, I changed. I already changed one. And oh, it was my own fault, obviously. So oh, we know this. This one works. This is one of the extra ones. Technically, the one I remove. And this is one of the extra black ones that I actually um, broke by accident while trying um trying to change it. It comes with um, its own screw, so you can just easily just you know, screw, unscrew like any of the screws that you need to like remove so you can modify it. My only gripe is that um, it doesn't have the thing. It's, it's not going to be hard. It's going to be hard to change the artwork, right? You, you literally have to like Using like a blow dryer or anything to remove the sticker. But other than that, like if you don't, if you want to keep this and you and you only care about like modifying the the joystick and the buttons, then it's easy. It's just a matter of like carefully removing and then just putting whatever you want. So overall, I like this stick. Maybe because I'm used to the Razer Pantera Evo, which is like lighter. I kind of not used to the to the weight. But it's not bad. It's not bad com compared to the original Pantera. That's heavy. That's a rock. This one has an uh, okay weight. I like it. Not to mention again the sound buttons. Even though you can mod, you can mod in whatever you want. And for the price of one eighty dollars, I think one seventy. I think it's worth it. Definitely. Even if it's just like a copy card of the, of the, of the Mad Cat C two, it's worth it. I really definitely recommend it. Like uh, honestly, I was thinking it wasn't gonna be good because. Uh, the brand wasn't known, but PXM definitely provided a really good product. I definitely recommend this product. I probably give it a an eight out of ten, just because this is specifically I didn't like this so hard to modify. But other than that, it's it's an awesome stick. I definitely recommend it. So yeah, this that is for my review. Hopefully that you enjoy it. See you in the next video.